how do you separate the, how did you find the right data points you could get, I guess, to actually tell if an application's performing and when there's so many applications out there and uh, you know, it's a, it's not a small challenge to take on. Well, you know, and that's, I would say, you know, and that's where we are on the journey now, right? You know, after joining Juniper, we started the journey with the access point, mm -hmm. which, which really helped us answer questions about, you know, connectivity, you know, you know, at Juniper now, we're starting to basically ingest data from the, the router, the SD-WAN piece of it, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and that really starts to let us answer questions about the application, right? Because the router is what has all that session level layer three through seven information. You know, and so that really starts to let us start answering the question of, you know, why is a user having a Zoom problem, right? And so the router starts to bring in more information. And then overall, you kind of see with this AI journey, where we're headed to as we start to ingest data from the client, the AP, the switch, the router, it lets us answer more questions, you know, what, like why is the app having a problem? And it really lets us answer more questions with granularity. You know, now I can go, if I have the router information, I can tell you if you're having a WAN problem, right? Because now I have visibility into the WAN interface. I can tell you, you know, have you just, you know, have you just lost your fiber connection and moved over to your cellular backup? You know, so that's the power of AI right now. And basically you start ingesting data from multiple sources um, to get into root cause of more granularity. Sure. And I know that uh, as part of your initiative, I know Juniper just did an acquisition of 128 technologies. And is that, how does that play into the, the picture? And especially with the pandemic, possibly in more of these uh, micro offices or whatever you want to call them, where people, you know, more and more small offices where it's hard to get a, a handle on, I guess, the performance characteristics or, you know, the quality of what you're connecting to, I guess, on yeah. that, NP, that last mile, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's where, when, you know, everyone's kind of looking at the home as a new micro branch, right? You right. know, the question is, you know, how, how are we going to support people working from the home? You know, are we going to start to put SD-WAN technology in your house? You know, some sort of form of a uh, backup, right? You know, when you're at home, you got your broadband connection, you know, should you have a cellular backup ready to go, you know, from your house, like this podcast, right? Right. You know, what happens if my internet goes down, you know, I want to make sure that it has some reliability to go back up on the other thing. So yeah, that 128 acquisition was really around next generation SD-WAN router, you know, and as I said, it's really about getting information from that router, especially the 128 session routing. Um, it had kind of a unique characteristic where it gives us more granularity on the individual user. You know, each session is being tracked as opposed to a tunnel, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, you lose some visibility, you track a big tunnel that has a lot of sessions in it, uh, as opposed to now we have granularity all down to each session that is going through that router. So to my, to the untrained and, uh, person here, I'm just putting things together in my head and seeing all these years of evolution. It almost sounds like uh, some of the same issues that like the next generation firewalls are dealing with, right? Not just the location, but now actually even the performance information inside of there. So is that kind of a, is those things melding together at some point, I guess? And how does that? Yeah, that, that's another, I mean, and I would say working from home, you know, that's the sassy trend, right? Mm -hmm. You know, as we see people and workloads get distributed, um, you know, I, I would say my analogy is in the old days, right? We used to put bumps in the wire, right? You know, right. a firewall was basically, we'll put a bump, you know, we'll put a box somewhere and it'll do some function. Um, nowadays in the future, I think we're, we're building bumps in the cloud, right? Mm, right. You know, if you look like Zscaler, right? Zscaler is a bump in the cloud. We're going to take all your data. We're going to send it to somewhere in the cloud to do some security function on it. Um, right. So I think that is the trend we're seeing on the cloudification of things, right? Yeah, we're, mm -hmm. you know, you're gonna see more bumps in the cloud. Um, the information we get, the AI ops piece is kind of sitting on top of this, right? Yeah. Is, you know, as this stuff gets more complex, um, and that's a challenge IT is facing, right? These mm -hmm. networks are getting more complex. It used to be in a simple day, you had a little network, you know, with a firewall and everything was under your control. Right, now, VPN concentrator to get into it, remote SSL, then you really got high tech back then. I mean, those, those <laughs> days, uh, you know, I, I feel kind of sorry for the IT, you know, the IT admin of the world today, right? I mean, the old days, it was like you were a CCI, you know, you learned your uh, CLI commands and you were good to go. Now we're asking them to be a Python programmer, you know, and we're starting to ask them to even become a little bit of a data science, you know, to actually start to manage all these networks. 